Aaron, thanks so much. Our team coverage now moves to Waynesville in Haywood County, where snow has already been falling today. News 13's Rex Hodge has been tracking the situation there. Rex, is the snow sticking? Well, actually, at this point, the snow is tapered off just a little bit. Just a few flurries remain. We have some clouds and some blue sky and the sun peeking through as well. But a little earlier, of course, when it was snowing, did stick to the edges of Main Street here in Waynesville. And back over here, you can definitely tell it has been sticking to some grassy surfaces as well. Now, still, many secondary roads are snow and or ice covered. And caution, of course, is advised. But this morning... It was a winter wonderland as big snowflakes swirled around downtown Waynesville. Residents tell me it came up suddenly and some had to make adjustments to their plans, whether driving in for their jobs or dropping kids off at daycare. In this area over the last couple of days, we've seen a little bit of everything, snow, sleet, freezing rain and even just rain. One resident says one thing has been more problematic for her. Just the icy roads, you know, we had a lot of ice at our house yesterday, and so I didn't get out yesterday. And then today it started out okay, and now it's snowed again. And, of course, that snow and ice and that dangerous black ice isn't going to go away anytime soon with advisories in place for bitter temperatures and wind coming in later. Now, the DOT is out with their plows, sanding and salting the major roads in this area, but they tell me, with bitter temperatures expected, sometimes that salt doesn't work as well as it might otherwise. Best rule of thumb, if you don't have to drive and be out there, don't do it. If you have to, please be very careful and go very, very slowly. Reporting live from Waynesville, Rex Hodge, News 13.